I grew up in a small city called Baroda and uh, I remember my maternal uncle used to do some amateur theatre and it always started off as uh, seeing them rehearse and then seeing them put up a show and uh, because we were kids and every time they needed you know like a little child to come up for a line or just a presence uh, we were called so it was, it was really exciting because uh, you would see uh, people do things and then as soon as the scene is about to end they would freeze and uh, as a child it got me really fascinated that you know grown-ups are behaving like children and they're kind of doing things and then freezing and uh, this whole uh, play like game like thing about theatre really uh, got me fascinated and then I kept doing it in school and college and afterwards. Of late I've been doing some uh, non-fiction theatre like documentary theatre uh, which is not very famous in India but I've been doing it in Europe where the idea is that uh, it's a device piece where you go on stage and you play yourself where you're not a particular character but you are Sachit and you speak about your experiences, about your life, uh, you recreate certain things but at the same time you're not acting and I think that uh, that is going to be my trip in life. In spite of changing the voices and the walk and the look and the makeup and all of that, uh, the best part about theatre is it's still a live art so you are seeing Sachit and you will see Sumit. So I'm interested in the non-fiction aspects of theatre the most. The character is called Selzman. He's the senior most actor in, in the group in terms of age, but he is also the lousiest. He's drunk most of the times, uh, pot belly, fat, uh, has no physicality, uh, but has this whole teddy bear thing about him. And people love him, but he has a hearing issue when he sleeps in rehearsals, forgets his lines, goes on stage without his trousers, and things like that. It's, it's been amazing for me to play 10 years ago and now getting a chance to do it uh, after 10 years when I actually have a pot belly. Theatre has always uh, been a survivor, whether it is uh, face the threat of uh, film or television or video or internet or a new media so to speak because uh, it cannot take, you cannot take the live element uh, away from, from human beings lives. It is still uh, in our human essence, in our human nature that when one person is talking or doing a movement or doing a gesture or emoting or telling a story, the other person hearing it will still feel engaged, engrossed and will still uh, find a resonance with what's being said or told. And uh, that I think is the most basic crux of, of theatre. Uh, a person performing and a person responding, watching. And uh, till that is alive, which I'm sure is going to be uh, alive for eternity because it's a part of human nature, I think theatre faces no threat. And uh, yeah, it's here to stay for sure.